Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Fall has fallen on the castle, and we've got a lot of stuff to do. First up, and honestly, most importantly, we are going to go get this broom upgrade. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. It still costs a thousand coins. Okay, we're just going to have to sell some stuff, I guess. My Let's goodness. Do with you. I don't even know if this is worth it, to be honest. It increases the acceleration and speed. I mean, that's nice, but is it necessary? I, but whatever. All right. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. Oh, I if could go mess that up. This first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yeah. Well, uh, Sounds do it right as now. you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. I gotta be honest, I feel like if we're... Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. I feel like you couldn't do this without us, and if we're selling all these upgrades and helping you out as much as we are, I kind of feel like... Off to the like races, then. You pr probably should just give it to us for free. I, I think not giving it to us for free is a little rude. Up on top of this mountain by the windmill. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. <laughs> isn't that rich? Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Without a doubt. I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge. Okay, so this is part two out of three. Going to be three total. This will get us our second upgrade at some point. And here we go. Remember, hit the, uh, the yellow things. The yellow bubbles are going to give us... Made it. Is that her ghost there? Oh, we've got four bubbles per thing now. There's only three before. Let's go. Kind of hard to see when you're turning. So I, I think the thing I don't like about broom flight, and overall it's it's pretty good, is you there's no camera that you can control. You've got your direction. On the left stick, and then you, you kind of point yourself with the right stick. So, like, you, there's no free camera, I think is what I don't like. Really kind of our, our left stick turns left and right, but doesn't do much else. I don't know. It's an interesting setup. It's a little awkward at first, but we're getting the hang of it. Fourteen out of twenty, almost there. I know this is exhilarating gameplay. This is a pretty cool area, though. We have not been this far south yet. We've essentially been all the way north, based on that last tower we were just in. I think there was one more uh, fast travel point north of us. But I think the further south we go, the higher levels of enemies and things we have. There's another camp right there. Lock here. Missed one, my bad. Made it. And beat her by 20 seconds. 30 Good. seconds. I've got this. Okay. You wanna apologize or are we gonna keep pretending We've like you're improved, good? I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, 
You didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. I love putting her in her, but her place. You'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Okay. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. Yeah, she's really switching up on to us, huh? This course again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard. I would not care about racing, racing this course again. Track. I already kicked that ass. I'm out of here. Hold on a second. I think this is an ancient... Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Ancient magic hotspot? Do we have to do anything? Rebellion. Okay. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm not sure what we found here, but we found something. Hmm. Looks like we're going to need to get this. Levioso. We need the, the big one, not Levioso. We want Wingardium Leviosa, the, this one. Wingardium Leviosa. And we want to get it across. The Pulso. Pulso. Gold rimmed spectacle. Revelio. I thought this was one of those things where we were supposed to. I, I think we completed it. That was the challenge. I These thought this was. have seen better days. One of the things where they said to look out for the glowing magic spots. Ugh. That was this. I guess we activated it. And we just want to activate as many of those as possible. Ugh. I'm not sure. <sighs> so many things to check out. So many things to see. Back to Hogwarts we go. Or Hogsmeade. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Easy Brilliant. peasy. I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Appreciate it, Albie. Thank you again, truly. Good talking again. I feel like the free upgrade might be the way to go. But hey, that's another quest complete. Feels good. Uh, put on the Mr. gold I do make a good team. spectacles, which look pretty good. Unfortunately, our best outfit right now is nightwear so we're kind of money poor we don't really we're constantly buying supplies and things we don't really have the money to waste it on items at this point in time Revelio. got that out of the corner of my eye but um yeah we just kind of look pretty stupid most of the time but i guess that comes with the territory time to put this new and improved broom to work so our uh Flying teacher wants us to pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station as well as the Quidditch pitch. It's kind of a boring, easy process. This is her office over here. This is kind of cool. A little office overlooking the field that we learned to fly our broom in. How you doing, man? Rebellion. How did you get on with those tasks? Did pretty all right. Dear Madam Kagawa, marvelous news you'll be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Arbor. No one never knows. Arbor? Why did I say it like that? Harbor. Uh, I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. So they've got some history together. I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some cha challenging trials for myself, but it's not all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or Professor Weasley? Imelda wants to be a professional Quidditch player. She's just not good enough, if I'm being honest. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process. Girl, I already got upgrades. Yes, Professor. 
That's good to hear. Keep Only it up, this and perhaps stuff? one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, hint, hint, with wink, those wink. tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Okay, Glacius hey, is a freezing charm. Work. This is cool. It's like you're drawing a mountain. I like that. Bang, 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 and a wave on the bottom? That would be a tough one. I'm really excited for Glacius, though. I'm wondering if we're going to have well some done. fire enemies or something. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Okay. So I'm going to add uh, frost one. Yellow. Okay. Glacius, there you go. Catching them quickly. I mean, that's pretty good. Not going to be able to get that. Control spell that freezes enemies in their tracks. That's solid. On to the next. Professor Garlic wants us to grow and harvest fluxweed, so I'm gonna go ahead and now, grab you know, some fluxweed seed from Timothy Teasdale here. Head back to our room of requirement, which to be honest, we need to keep up with better. We kind of get sidetracked on all of our missions and forget to come back here. Should constantly be taking care of all these. Now this venomous tentacula, I'm pretty sure we could just empty the pot. We should still have those seeds, we do. So the seeds never go away. We're gonna be able to plant the flux weed in its spot though. And we're gonna be able to harvest that in 15 minutes. Now she also does have another thing. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. So, I mean that's, we already have that. We can, we can do that right now. Level 20 cotton grass dug bog. We just go ahead and throw s Oh, oh, there's multiple of them. Okay, so we're gonna throw out a venomous tentacula. We are going to throw out this guy. And then we're also gonna throw out this guy. Beautiful. Okay, the Glacius is pretty nasty. These guys are a little tougher than I think we should be taking on. Oh, I, that was kind of a waste there. I'm gonna take the free XP though. We're good. Freeze him up. And then, oh, what? I think we've got one more over here. Come on, fella. Come on, big guy. I know you think you're tough. Fringo's a beast though. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're punching a bit above our weight class here. Three levels above to be exact, but uh, now we just have to wait 15 minutes for this to be done. You ready, young one? Fluxweed stem. Brilliant. 15 minutes is a long time for one tiny little plant, but uh, all right, off to Professor Garlic. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying well, yourself. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. We're adding a bunch of spells here. I love this. We're going to have to mess to around with these. With spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Going to have to test out what Writing we like the best. We might have to add a, another page. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Do my best not to hurt them in any way. So Flippendo is... That Flipendo flips objects and enemies upwards and backwards with its short cooldown. It's excellent for setting up and extending juggles. Its ability to flip objects instantly is useful for solving puzzles and exploiting certain enemies' weaknesses. So it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Flipendo. Wow. You're a natural. So we can, if we do that and then we juggle, 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 Flipendo, Flipendo. juggle. Juggle. That's amazing, dude. It'll just never end. Okay. Flipendo might be one we have to keep in our repertoire. Kagawa actually has one more for us. Everyone just wants to give us a spell at the moment. I guess that's fine with me. There we go. 
We just got all of them near the uh, the spires, and now we're gonna go over to Keenbridge Tower. These balloons are everywhere. I mean, my intention is to m maybe think about going 100% on this game. I don't know if I'm gonna cover everything in the series, but uh, I'm gonna have to get these eventually. Might as well take the XP and everything now. All right, off to the objective. One more balloon here. All right, that's five that's more. Woo. And there's a bandit camp. Should probably get out of here. I swear these extracurriculars are going to be the death of me. We're going to have to do all Welcome these eventually, back. so I figured let's just do them all in back, one. Professor. Assignments all Knock finished. them out back to well back done. to back. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. I'd love to be a seeker, man. Let us ma practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Really? I didn't know that. Size deliberate movements. Arresto momentum. Oop. Almost got caught on that one there. Gotta be careful, Trev. Shoo. If we ever get caught on one of these spell mini games, I'm gonna be really mad. That that's just gonna be embarrassing. Okay. Arresto momentum. We are honestly we're getting very close to having all of the spells. Slows both objects and enemies, giving you extra time to plan your next move. Okay. Oh, we could have some Very little mini games. Good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Arrest moment. That's it. Keep it up. Pretty cool. All right. Well, be fitting attire if you plan to take classes from your bed. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but it's the best thing I have. Please tell the game to give me something that's actually nice to wear. We've got one more spell they want us to learn, and I'm actually really excited about this. So, Miss Onai wants us to depulso a floating enemy, which we just did right there. And now I think he's going to be a little bit mad, but that's fine. He's just a little wolf stuck in the mud. Is there... Did they drop? Ooh. Mongrel furs. Okay. So we've got that. But check out this second one. We want to go collect troll bogeys. And I'm going to be honest. I kind of had a hard time finding these. I did a lot of searching around the map. I was just flying around looking for trolls. I was kind of going up in like the mountainous areas. I wasn't sure where to find them. As it turns out, there's a troll layer right here. So I can only assume that getting troll bogeys is in a troll layer. Now... I unlocked a lot of the fast travel points. I haven't actually gone to any of these places. A lot of these are like very high level bandit camps. Ah, how delightful. And to be honest, as I say that as we spawn into one, this is probably a bad idea. This is what a troll house looks like. He's right there, river troll. What's up, buddy? He didn't even see me. Now I know we've got. I know we've got our special, our special thing here. Wow, he is really ugly. All of his attacks are blockable. I know we've got our special attack. Oop, hold on. So every attack here we can we can block and stupefy him. It's just gonna take a really long time to take him down. Kind of feel like we need some better attacks here. I'm going to use, let's throw this on here. Expelliarmus. I'm going all attacks. This is going to be great. This guy is no joke. All right. Let's just go around the world on him. I kind of want to hit him when he hits us with that rock. That's got to be a wrap. Oh my goodness. Okay. And there we have... Yes. Six troll bogeys. We're just going to get back to class. We're going to focus on the task at hand. We just learned a ton of spells, which honestly is... Nice, but... It was a, a bit of a grind. So this is our divination classroom. Wow. And this is Natty's mom, Nat's Ioni, the Gryffindor companion. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. This is cool. Welcome to divination. We haven't been here yet. What's up, Natty? 
All right. I love these little cutscenes. Feel like she's cheating a bit. Seems like she's better than Professor Trelawney, though. I see a, a giant winged creature about to eat something in that. My tea. <laughs> he sneezed. Being a seer would be pretty cool. Being able to see the future, like I, it's made fun of in the movies and stuff, so but knowledgeable. I felt like being able to use a crystal ball would be pretty sick. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, it's an easy guess. as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Triumph, danger, power. I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. That's the goal. And you are preparing yourself even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Thanks, Professor. That's nice. Channel your magic towards your targets. Gonna hit the Sindo here. Gonna be able to send stuff down, so we've got Wingardium Leviosa to bring it up, the Sindo to bring it you down, it. Flipindo to flip now, it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? <laughs> Love how we've got all red spells here. So, uh, all right, let's give this a, a shot. Where's the training dummy at? Descendo. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> oh, wow. That is pretty impressive. Just kind of a, a slam into the ground. Stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Revelio. Whatever you say, where's your, uh, your paper in here? There's always a paper. Always a paper somewhere. There it is. Field guide page. Palmistry model. Standing model of a hand is dim demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending on the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Any others in here? Maybe downstairs. I like the little trap door. That's kind of a fun, a fun thing. Imagine going up to class on a ladder like this. Seems like a bit of a hazard for students, but um, we've got a resto momentum in case we need it. So we've spent a lot of time in class. I'm ready to get back out and venture a little bit before we call it a day. We did talk to Fig about how we wanted Hello to come to the, nice to see you. the broomsticks here because Serona. Hello, Miss Ryan. Might have I a lead. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly. See, we can't get along. I can say for some of my own classmates, 
Took them a second to realise I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. And that's helpful. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, <laughs> they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said... They're not friends. I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. But I also feel like they're not really going to work very well together. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand Thanks, me. Runner. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. All right, so we're going to go to Hog's Head. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. I got a lot of people in my corner, and you're one of them. I appreciate you, so let's go to Hog's Head and see if we can't make a new friend to add to that list. feel bad every time I skip Hello. a cat, but to be honest... You, outside the castle. you too, I'll meet. We've got important Welcome to the Hog's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Appreciate it. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with <laughs> news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you... Come on, bro. Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus. And you want me to go get in it? In a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. <laughs> Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. This seems a little sketchy. But if Serona trusts him, then I think we can trust him. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. So this is going to be quite the token to get back. Been lost. Of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Be able to give the Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Makes sense. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy Just and like quite we said. fragile. 
Let us hope that ours is less so. I agree. And also I don't even know what's in the tomb I'm going for. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Okay. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. The Collector's Cave. We've had quite a few warnings here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna say... Let me put... I'm gonna put Lumos on this. And that's probably... That's probably good. Okay. Lumos. I know we needed to Pulso for this. The pushing spell. It's sealed. We need to put this away. Then we need to grab this. Oh, it's curious. And bring it over here. Got some ornate gloves, that's good. Lumos. Merlin's bed. I'm a little bit concerned here, fellas. Just a little bit. God, sometimes the this game, it just it gives me goosebumps. It gets the hair standing on the back of my neck. Too. Likely, I need to go further. Well, we're gonna be able to control that moth. Okay. Lumos. This is clearly our next door that we're gonna have to go through, but we're gonna have to get there first. We'll grab everything we can. Revelio. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Lumos. We're obviously going to have to go through this. Revelio. I keep waiting for something bad, but there's nothing. Lumos. He's not yet. See what's behind this door. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Why do you gotta say some stuff like that? Revelio. What are these? In theory, must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the collections menu to learn more about enemy weaknesses. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw fire everything hit him stay back come on incendio confringo incendio confringo this isn't so bad Accio. we just want to make sure we're incendio Doing as much damage as possible when we've got a weak with the fire, and also the the pickups are really good too. We got stench of the dead down here. That is a a potion recipe Rebellion. that we have had to purchase before, and it's not cheap. So I think it's going to be in our best interest to uh, make sure that we always Confringo. stay on top of these. Revelio. Nothing else in here? Alright. Oh. Thing up top. There's always more than you think. We're good. These hork lumps aren't necessarily common either. 
Lumos. Revelio. What is this? Lumos. I got it. We want to bring these here. Capulso. So we're gonna hit it a couple times. We should be able to get up and get this last one. Luma in here, except another butterfly. So now we should be able to put three on this main door. And we can move forward into more of these stupid things. I want to learn Bombarda. Rebellion. <coughs> Our objective's that way, so I'm gonna go this way for a minute. Oh. Got a checkpoint that concerns me a little bit. Hmm. What do we do here? Akio. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. I think we may have to go to the other side and activate something before getting to that side. Honestly, I'm not sure, dude. There. What's that coming there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Okay. Akio. I just feel like this is getting really sketchy. What's going bump Rebellion. in the night? Something's going bump in the night over there. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. I love that we have Accio and Wingardium Leviosa mixed in one now. Totems. Revelio. Nothing else in here. Dude, that whole big room full of loot over there, not being able to get it yet. I'm not happy about. Down we go. Oh. Seems right. I'm gonna go the opposite way that it wants me to. Your boy likes to take the path less traveled. Sometimes it could get you killed. Akio. Sometimes it could take you in the right direction. Oh, that takes us right back up top. Oh. Okay. We wanna go this way. Another big room. Revelio. And some more fatty addies. Trying to throw this right in the middle. We should probably. There it is. We should use one of the fires on each, and then use something else. Oh, that didn't even hit him. There we go. Last one. See, if we weaken them up so they can take damage, and then we use Defendo, it's pretty solid. Okay, we need, uh... Oh, there's another one. Are they just... Is that everyone? I would appreciate if we weren't surprised by anybody else here. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I get all of these... Essence of the Deads or whatever the heck they're called. Okay, so we're gonna... Come over here. Lumos. Grab this guy. Oh, we already have one on there. Okay. Depulsa. I think we gotta be on this first before we hit it. So we've got another one there. 
We're trying to put him on this. Okay. Lumos. We've got that there. We have another one on this side. Lumos. Get this over, and now we need to get the last one. Depulsa. Which might be that one on the thing, I'm not sure. What is this down here? Revelio. Just another chamber. Got a scarf. Oh, I see it. It's over there. Depulsa. Hit that, and then we could come over here. I didn't Lumos. even see this one. Beautiful. And just like that, Making we're through. this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. That was it. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. No enemies in here, really? Nobody guarding the witch in her final spot to rest. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. I had to show this to Lodgok. Shoot. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. So now we're probably gonna have to go to a bandit camp. To be able to find this thing. We did leave that one room full of loot too. Lodgok. Not happy about that. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I can make that happen. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Okay. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Oh, don't you worry. I will go take care of business and do what I do best. A group of enemies right over here. I'm gonna try to go in silently. Oh, there's only four of them? And they're fighting a troll. What perfect timing. I'm just gonna let them... I mean, you guys can fight the troll if you want. We already fought a troll, but... You're going to regret that. You can help me out. You've made a grave mistake. I'm just gonna sneak in here. I'm gonna grab some... There they are. Loot. The Ashwinders. Expulsion! I mean, there's no reason to rush here. I'm just gonna steal things from the camp because they're fighting control. This is perfect. Revenue. I love how we whisper. Expulsion. I don't think anybody's gonna notice us. And they've got such a big distraction to worry about. This has become personal. Just a little personal. I love how we have a, a special ready to go too. Is that the last one? That's the last one. All right, Mr. Troll. Lumos. Um, well, that's not, I didn't want to use Lumos. This is a forest troll. They're a little bit more scary. The other troll, I could block all of his attacks. This one, I cannot. Looks like he might be stuck in the corner here. I need my, dude, my whatever it's called. This one? Defendo. Defendo? Absolutely massive. Confringo. Confringo's pretty good too. Incendio. One more. Defendo. There it is. Whoo! Rest easy, my large friend. That was the most perfect timing Rebellion. I think I've ever experienced in my entire history of gaming. I would imagine it is probably going to be in this big chest. That's it. The helmet. This 
this for Rookwood. Uh, try not to make this too easy. That's me. fine. I'm not too worried about it. Let me get my flipendo on here. Flipendo. Uh, flipendo. He's already dead. Get him up in the air with Flipendo. Flipendo. Nothing you can do there. We've got one more over yonder. Might as well. Easy enough. You believe I defeated another. Revelio. Looks like we got some slugs down here. We got some jumping toads there. Leaping toadstool caps. All right. Let's take this back to our new friend, and I think. It's a job well done. Love being able to just hop on the broom and go wherever, whenever. That's pretty great. I was, I mean, the broom upgrades are decent. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I wish they were a little bit better, but it's not bad. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Well, it just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, you're looking at what it is rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. I don't know that I trust you because soon. you're not telling me the full story Best here. to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. I'm not sure I can trust you. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, man. Holy cow. Okay. Well, on a day's work.